Last week, two new AI image generators were launched, Imagine 3 from Google and Grok 2 from Elon. Both can create super realistic images with accurate text, but only one of them is open source and uncensored. Can you guess which one? That's right, the answer is neither. The real game changer is actually Flux from Black Forest Labs, a new image generation model that's taking the world by storm and is the main engine behind Grok's images. People are calling it the mid-journey killer and the next stable diffusion replacement, a model so lifelike and powerful that it's seen as a potential risk. Google DeepMind even released a paper this month that studied the ways people abuse generative AI, and shockingly, intimate images weren't the top result. Apparently, the real danger is impersonation, which is something Flux happens to be really good at. In today's video, you'll learn how to run this dangerous new AI locally, fine-tune it with your own custom data, and turn the results into videos so you can level up your AI girlfriend in ways you never thought possible. The internet is buzzing with outrage over a photo that's been making the rounds, generated by Grok and its neighbor Flux. Some might argue that it's a heartwarming depiction of how libtards and cuckservatives can come together to create a better world. However, there's no denying that the image is obviously fake. Despite that, take a closer look at the photo. It's surprisingly benign and realistic yet it was entirely crafted with flux. The level of realism is so high that it doesn't even trigger that eerie, uncanny valley feeling we often get from AI-generated images. In just a moment, we'll explore how you can use flux and customize it with your own images. But before we get into that, it's important to mention that Google has recently released a new image generator called Imagine 3. This tool not only has a fantastic user interface, but it also uses AI to create prompts as you type. The image quality it produces is really impressive, a big improvement from the earlier version, Imagine 2. Imagine 2 had to be taken down because it controversially generated images of diverse Nazis, a mistake so serious that even Sergei Akimov, the assistant editor of Imagine Entertainment, admitted, we definitely messed up. Imagine 3, on the other hand, is much better at handling these issues. It's designed to generate Nazis more accurately while making sure it doesn't allow people to impersonate others or create anything offensive. It also has some cool features, like an editor that lets you change specific parts of an image. But if you're really looking to explore the full potential of AI, you should definitely check out Flux. It's currently one of the most popular models in the AI world. Flux was created by former employees of Stability AI, who had previously worked on Stable Diffusion. Flux has set a new standard for open-source AI models, especially after many users felt let down by Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. Flux is raising the bar, and the only real competition it might face could be from the upcoming Stable Diffusion 3 Large. One of the best things about Flux is the wide range of LoRa's, low-rank adaptations, that are already available. These LoRa's allow you to fine-tune Flux for specific tasks or projects. You can easily find them on platforms like Civit AI. Plus, if you want to personalize it, you can even fine-tune Flux with your own photos. For example, Matt Wolf used Flux to create images for his Instagram making his life look way cooler than it actually is. The easiest way to try out Flux is by using a hosted version on a website like Foul. This site offers not just the basic Flux model, but also special versions called LoRa's, like Flux Realism, which can consistently create photorealistic images. If you're looking for high-quality, lifelike results without getting too technical, Flux Realism is a great choice. However, it's important to know that Flux comes in three different versions, Flux Pro, Flux Dev, and Flux Schnell. Flux Schnell is the smallest and fastest version, and it's also the only one that's licensed under Apache 2.0, which means you can use it for commercial purposes. If you're planning to use AI-generated images in a business or product, Flux Schnell is the model you should use since it's legally allowed for commercial use. If you're not concerned about using the model commercially and want to explore more advanced features, you might want to check out the other two versions. Flux Pro is available through the Black Forest Labs API and offers more tools and options for those who need extra capabilities. 
For those who are focused on getting the best possible image quality, the Flux Dev model is the top pick. While it can't be used for commercial purposes, it's designed to produce the highest quality results, making it perfect for personal projects or research. Let's go ahead and run it locally now. One option is to use the Hugging Face Diffusers library in a Python script like this, which will automatically download the model, allowing you to prompt it and run it on your GPU with just a few lines of Python. But if you're not well endowed with a big GPU, make sure to enable the CPU offload mode. From there, assuming you have a virtual environment with your dependencies installed, you can run the script and start generating images locally. That's a good start, but the real power of open weights is being able to fine-tune your own models. There are a few different open source projects that make that way easier, like SimpleTuner or Xlux. If you want to use a node-based workflow, they have a setup for comfy UI or some training scripts that you can customize in YAML to train your own LoRa. You'll first need some data, like a folder of images with corresponding JSON files that contain a caption for that image. For example, if you're a bit obsessed, you could use photos of your ex-girlfriend to train the modal. If you've never had a girlfriend and are a big fan of a celebrity, you could use pictures of them instead. The main thing to remember is the saying, garbage in, garbage out. This means the quality of the images you put into the model will determine how good the results are. So, if you want the best results, use high quality images that match what you're trying to create. Once you have your images, you'll need to tweak some settings, called hyperparameters, to help the model learn from your data better. After that, with just one simple command, you can start training your custom model. It's surprisingly easy, even if you're not an expert. Pretty crazy how easy that is, but the real benefit of this technology is that it allows us to generate our own AI girlfriends and boyfriends. Here's what a full-stack AI partner looks like. Step 1. Build a data set of about 20 images and captions of what you want your partner to look like. Step 2. Train a LoRa based on Flux. You now have a model that can generate realistic, unique images. Step 3. Give your partner a voice using a tool like Eleven Labs, which can even be cloned from a real human. Then finally, in step 4, use a tool like Pabs to generate a video in lip sync mode to match the voice to the video. It's amazing, and maybe a little terrifying, how easy this has become, but that's the power of open source AI. So, what will you create next? If you found this video eye-opening, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest in AI. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the future.